بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers and sisters how are you in today's lesson I would like to uh, show you a very important uh, lesson and uh, how to use connection from one model to another and uh, what's the benefit of that uh, sometimes when you have uh, a large model so and yeah after that you want to make uh, or a model into um, two or three uh, files so as not to be <coughs> uh, so much heavy and it's not not good for for working uh, working on it uh, so maybe uh, you can uh, make or uh, buy two or three uh, expansion joints or uh, sometimes when if you are working in a, a workshop so uh, you want to use uh, l the same type of connection uh, for your uh, works for example and uh, today I have uh, a warehouse uh, and uh, maybe after uh, a week I have uh, another warehouse but I want to use the same details for the uh, previous one so how can I how can I do this uh, it's pretty easy uh, this one but it's just uh, need uh, a little bit <coughs> information about that for example so what I'm doing I'm just uh, making a, a one bay uh, warehouse from this point and uh, let's say 20,000 right click after that and uh, we see I'll wait up to uh, until uh, it, it, it comes to me okay I'll uh, leave all, all of this uh, as default and let me try to make this connection okay as we know uh, this connection is pretty easy and uh, I think most uh, familiar one and go to the connection vault and uh, from here uh, this is the pex so uh, from here and if I want I can just uh, make this one smaller or I can uh, close it or minimize the, the window uh, this one okay after that I'm going to uh, go with this one and uh, what where we need this uh, window if you are a big nigger so uh, you can just uh, uh, <coughs> make <coughs> this window visible so and it, it will guide you uh, how to select the connection how to select the elements for example I don't and don't uh, let me uh, say that I am a big nigger so how can I work with this uh, type of connection so after uh, selecting connections and what it gives me it gives me the selection order so I have to select the first thing uh, which one and the second one which one uh, it, it tells me that the se uh, selection order is the first one is the column and the second one is the beam okay the first one is the column and the second one is the beam and after that the profiles uh, for the column have I sections for the beam I sections or curved section As you see I section curved section both of them I can make them then this is the the description of the of the uh, of the joint uh, a beam is connected to the to a column with a hinge that created at the flange of the column the connected uh, connected beam is adjusted the hinge is created from the beam cut from place uh, or from, uh, from place so this hinge it could be uh, from beam or from uh, place both of them uh, we can do it and there's uh, uh, some options uh, we have some options uh, the various stiffeners in the place cap place additional place additional rafter and joint design so these uh, are uh, <coughs> we have as options okay so let me go back to this uh, window I mean as with this window okay uh, for making this connection just click here the first one we said that the selection order is the first thing is a column so select the column space bar uh, select the beam or rafter space bar and now as you see everything is good everything is good well after that after I am uh, I just let me uh, show you in a uh, conceptual uh, this is the type of connection so it doesn't need to me uh, all the time yeah uh, in the same in the same uh, model I can I can do it for example you see I can I can do for the same model I can copy from this one and uh, this is by uh, this command advanced steel and <coughs> what can I do 
I can just <coughs> copy them with this uh, command here or with this blockchain here okay is in the same way it's, it's, it's easy and we learn about that but how about if we uh, want to use this one to another uh, file okay I'll, I'll try to, to make this one so that I select the any kind of uh, to any uh, element of this the connection one right click advanced joint properties or or I can just double click from here and it will open me uh, the dialog boxes the connection dialog box uh, I don't want to change anything just uh, the balls okay so I want what I want I want the bolt groups as you see the ball groups so what we have we have 200 as 150 let's say we have 100 maybe it's good it's kind of good and this one let's say 100 also I think it is now is kind of good now it's kind of good so I have I have a design or I have arranged this connection for, for myself or maybe it needs some uh, adjustment uh, again I will put some additional uh, lengths at the top so I will go with the end plate and the end place is uh, 15 millimeters and as you see the project top let's say we have 5 or 10 and 5 by 5 as you see now we have five these 5 millimeters for welding uh, this plate or maybe or I can I can just make it 10 don't uh, no problem no problem with that okay and, sorry why can yeah just enter okay so we have these two and now we arrange uh, after we arrange everything what I am going to do I just go to uh, as I said from here right click advanced joint properties or by double click on the joint box uh, no problem both of them uh, will, will work with you after that what I go I go to the library and I want to put this uh, kind of connection into my library so after that go to import joints uh, import values after importing values is here all the values and specifications of this ball is kept here right everything is here and there's a lot of things uh, as you see here um, there's a lot of things here uh, of course I can I can I can change from here also okay after that I can just go to edit I want to name this one uh, to uh, any type of name for example I want to name it as a uh, uh, e which is engineer one uh, for example uh, AP uh, connection for example connection 01 okay so we have EP connection 01 okay that just click okay and after that after I will finish this one I will what I will I'll do I will um, I can close this this one I don't I will not save it okay I'll not save it and now I have uh, I saved this connection into my library so again if we uh, I go to the making an or uh, new uh, file uh, again in the same procedure uh, I'm going to make another one and this time let's say 15,000 not 20,000 and right click uh, just like this so I have this one I will not change anything again uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, again uh, uh, the same. I will make this one. As you see here, uh, if we go with the wireframes, it's just like uh, this because we save it. It's just the saved one, uh, or if not if not what we can do if it's not like this just right click uh, or select uh, any uh, element part right click advanced joint properties and uh, from libraries go to libraries and just click on the uh, type of connection that we just create ep connection 01 you see of course we have uh, some others is we uh, which we uh, or advanced still has saved that one and as you see here 
uh, this from this type and with this type of connection. After that, what kind of connection you can you can um, save as many as connections you want. You see, and every time you can uh, choose them without any problem. You see, guys, any kind of connection you can use them without any connection, uh, without any problem. And after that, now I want to use myself. So EP connection zero one. And it will change back uh, to these uh, original connections that we created before in uh, the other uh, <coughs> in the other uh, file. Okay. So uh, this is for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and share this video. And subscribe to the. Uh, channel and also I have created a new channel uh, which is e advanced steel uh, EP advanced steel learning so just uh, don't forget to, to subscribe that one also thank you very much